All right, so I want to kind of go over um, this problem. This was part of our homework or a second assignment I gave you just to get more practice. This would be what you would see on the test. This would be a level loop. So we've got 50786 plus our backside of three would give us a HI and I'm going to 5010.86. That's our HI. And I normally put it on one row below that way that I'm not, um, so it sticks out. So we took the 50786 plus the 3 to get our HI. Now when we get here, we're going to take our HI minus our foresight reading to get the elevation. So I got 5002.72. All right, that gives us the elevation for turn point two. And we're going to go put the instrument up and set on the other side. And we're going to read another back site, 5.2. Six, four. We're going to add it to our elevation to get a new HI, and we're going to have 5008.36. I'm just going to make the HIs in red so that I can see them. All right, we're, we've got a new HI, and we can't see anymore. We have to do a turn point, so it'll be your HI minus your foresight, which will give me 500. 5,004.90. That'll be our elevation at turn point two. And then we add our back site, which is a 6.88, which will give me a new HI at 5011.78. Make that in red. Okay, so we're moving ahead. And we got the next turn point, which is benchmark one. So it's your HI minus your foresight will give you the elevation of benchmark one. 5001.50. And then we're going to take that plus our back site to get our new HI. So we're at 5009.54. Five, five, I'm going to read that in. All right, now we're ready to get the elevation on turn point three, which is going to be Matt HI minus the 417, which will give me 5005.37. Now we'll take our elevation at turn point three plus our 786, and we'll have our last. HI, which will be 5013.23. I'm going to go ahead and read that in as well. And benchmark Juno. So we read 5.47, and that gives me 5007.76. All right, so we're done. But that's our end elevation. So I'm going to highlight it. This was our beginning. So, page check. I would total your back sites. I'm going to put them right here. And for my total back sites, I get 31.41. And I'm going to total my four sites. And I get 31.51. And I'm going to put a minus in front of it because that's my four sites. Page check. I would type in 507.86 plus your 31.41 minus your back site. Equals. And if we do that, we will get 5007. 
of 007.76. So then we know our math's right. So this is what you would call your page check. So I've got it inside a box right now because I've got that chart. So maybe I would do that at the bottom. So page check. You've got your beginning elevation plus your back sites minus your four sites and then see if these two add up and they did so now we need to adjust so that's the last thing so we're gonna if we um if we take the beginning elevation minus the n so i'm going to type it under here five zero zero seven 0.86 minus 500 zero zero. gives me a point one eight. So I'm off a tenth or a hundred. Yeah, I'm off a tenth. And I look, need to look at how do you correct it per, per setup. So we're off a tenth. So this one should have been five zero zero eight six. So if I look at if you keep the beginning minus the end or what it's supposed to be minus what you had, it's a tenth. Now to do your correction per setup. going to be the 0 0.01 divided by 5 because you got 5 HIs will give you 0 0.02. That's we need to adjust 0 0.02 per setup. So you do not do the original elevation because that's known. This one cannot change. So the first word we're going to do is going to be your one right after that. So I would actually do 0 0.02 times one, which equals 0 0.02. And since it's a positive, I'm going to add that two, which will give me 5002.74. So that would be my adjusted elevation. I'm just going to highlight that a different color. All right. Second one, point zero two, and it's your second one times two. Will equal four hundreds. So five zero zero four point nine zero. Add the four hundreds gives you five zero zero four point nine four. I'm gonna highlight that in blue. Third one, 0 0.02 times 3 gives me 600. Add 600 to the 5001.56, which will give me 5001.57. 0 0.02 times 4 gives me 800. So we're going to add 800 to that one, which would be 5005.57. Zero, 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 center it and highlight. And then the last one, oh, I'll go. 0 0.02 times 5 equals 0.10. Add that, 5.04. 0.10 times 5 
up zero zero point eight six. Was missing a zero. Missing a sudden. All right, got it now. All right, so we did a page check. We did a page check, so our math was right. Then we did a correction per setup, and we adjusted. So just that simple, and we're done.